March the 25th, 2022. The Holy Father has consecrated Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and invited the entire Catholic Episcopacy to join him and indeed the entire Catholic world to join him in this great act of consecration and entrustment of Russia and of Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Pope Francis did this in obedience to Our Lady's message at Fatima in 1917 that was repeated to Sister Lucy in 1929. It also happens to be the 25th of the month and being the 25th it is the day that Maria, visionary of Medjugorje, receives the monthly message. And so I am reading out for us the message that is given on this same day that Pope Francis has consecrated Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart in obedience to Our Lady's message at Fatima. Here is the message. Dear children, I am listening to your cry and prayers for peace. For years, Satan has been fighting for war. That is why God sent me among you, to guide you on the way of holiness, because humanity is at a crossroad. I am calling you to return to God and to God's commandments, that it may be good for you on earth, and that you may come out of this crisis into which you have entered, because you are not listening to God who loves you and desires to save you and lead you to a new life. Thank you for having responded to my call. I have mentioned on earlier videos how the messages given at Medjugorje almost never respond to a contemporary event, something that is topical at that moment. And it might seem that this message actually does refer to this auspicious moment of the consecration of Russia and Ukraine to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. At least it might initially seem that way. For instance, we read, I am listening to your cry and prayers for peace. It sounds like Our Lady is saying right now, I'm hearing this consecration. I'm witnessing it. It could be that way. But we also need to keep in mind the fact that this is a turn of phrase that has appeared in other messages given at Medjugorje. I did a quick search and as you can see, I put on the screen another one where we hear Our Lady using the very same turn of phrase. So that makes us less sure that this is particularly topical with an emphasis due to the fact that today the consecration has, has occurred. And moreover, the consecration is not necessarily a cry and prayer for peace that we're offering to her. Rather, we are offering to her entire nations, Russia, Ukraine. And this does not feature in her message. She, it's almost like, it's almost like it seems to me like, like this is a message of someone who is kind of, at best, averting to the fact that, that yes, this event has taken place, but there's no real reference to the nature of the event, i.e. that Russia and Ukraine have been offered to her a maglet heart, have been given over to her. That doesn't come across at all. The other thing that, that seems particularly topical is this emphasis on war. Satan has been fighting for war. But again, that's actually something that has been said quite a number of times in the messages of Our Lady at Medjugorje. So again, it doesn't necessarily stand out as anything exceptional today. And moreover, it says, that is why God sent me among you. And that's, that's saying something about, that is why God sent me among you, like when the messages began and, and for all the last 30 years or whatever of the apparitions, Satan has been fighting for war. 
That is why God has sent me among you, to guide you on the way of holiness. Because humanity has a, it is, a, is at a crossroad. So again, that's not a reference to here and now, but rather that is a message referring to the entire period of the apparitions. And again, the, the same the same then continues in the rest of the message so in in effect this is no more topical than anything else um more or less but then perhaps you know if a genuine message from heaven i think would emphasize the fact that russia ukraine conflict is a conflict that is at the center of our attention you know usa uk eu but really globally speaking the conflict although it's serious we have had this kind of thing for the last you know in the post-war period has been marked by lots of conflicts we think of in europe of course there there was conflict in in the balklands but in other parts of the world there have been plenty of conflicts and it just hasn't made our, our news and it hasn't been the center of our attention so much. So maybe a heaven's perspective would be to just try and give a general perspective, not saying much about the present crisis, because really the present crisis, Ukraine, Russia, is really just um, from heaven's point of view, kind of business as normal. This is humans uh, causing war. This is humans exerting power. This is humans disobeying God's laws and following their own their own desires and not keeping the commandments. So maybe that gives some genuine uh, credence to this particular message as being um, in some way relevant. Um, but maybe it would have been it would have been nice for Our Lady, if it is Our Lady speaking of Medjugorje, to have thanked the Pope perhaps for the act of consecration maybe made a reference to fatima and the fact that this consecration had been performed at the request at fatima maybe mentioning her immaculate heart um maybe mentioning russia and ukraine maybe mentioning the bishops of the world maybe mentioning the catholic faith you see you see whilst this has a a certain degree of topicality to it and only a vague one because as i've mentioned the top the phrases that are used here have been used previously and and, and not to in the not too distant future there is nothing here there's nothing here that directly relates to the great event that has been accomplished today although i'm sure plenty of people will be keen to show how sensational this message is it certainly doesn't mean anything, mention anything about the 10 secrets of Medjugorje it just seems like that has been shelved really because we're told here that our lady is basically here to call us to return to God to keep God's commandments there's nothing about the prophetic future nature of Medjugorje here that's not being emphasized at all and so we have a kind of vague message once again. Let's celebrate this day, though, the Feast of Our Lady's Annunciation. She is our mother. She is in heaven. And she was very grateful for the act of consecration that took place today and which so many of you, which myself included, participated in. She's very grateful. And even if she isn't going to tell us from Medjugorje, she's telling us in our own hearts right now, thank you for responding to my call that I made at Fatima. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.